Hi folks, so I'm going to draw an acrylic now, and this is on a piece of the Fabriano studio paper. Uh, it, it will expand a bit in between these tapes, but uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm going to have to use a bit of water, but, um, but you don't need to prime anything really for, for acrylic, other than MDF, which probably needs, um, well the MDF I, I'm using is a sh uh, for the three foot sheets. Uh, I'm getting a bit low on it now, but one side is slightly rougher than the smooth side. And I use a, a PVA glue just to, to give me a paint on one side. It lifts the surface and you get a lovely tooth, but you have to work that out for yourself. Um, so, uh, so that's about all I want to say about that, other than do the painting. I'm going to do one of my texture paintings, I think, I think. Same with some of the oil, but I'm, uh, if, if you're sort of interested in painting the acrylic, it's, I've got loads of them. So what we're going to do is uh, just get a bit of wet on the brush and add a bit of ultramarine. It's a bit je jellyfied. And we'll just put all this in and take a bit of covering. I want a, a, a good dark sky above. Probably not as dark as that, I bet so. We can alter, alter that. I'll leave some holes in for clouds. Sort of negative space, I suppose you call that. That's just. And this uh, this will coat the, the 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 paper, and it will uh, forgot what I was going to say then, uh, as usual. I uh, just get some paint on it. Oh, it'll form a. Uh, a plastic surface on the paper, which is a lovely thing about acrylic. It's its, its own primer. And once that dries, it really expands a bit, as I say, because of the uh, amount of water that I'm using, just to, just to get all this, this in. I'm going to come down to a bit of a sort of a villagey meadowy scene. Just trying to get some uh, some light spots for my clouds. brush in the water. I've got the penny for them because if you get acrylic that dries on your clothes you, or your jeans you've lost it if you don't use water to get it out pretty quick. Right now we will uh, get a bit of, bit of burnt sienna. Actually you, no you don't, I don't need that. Just uh, feathered the top of this thing. <coughs> There's a lot of white in, in this. <coughs> Take your clouds off of the uh, paper, of the surface. Otherwise it looks as if you're filling in. Uh, 
a lot of this paper will get, get wasted. My tubes are getting quite old now. And, uh, uh, look, just, just soften around the edges. Now I'm going to put something quite heavy in, in the, the paste here. I'll just put some cloud, wispy cloud in there. Now I'm going to mix the three primers. Now my yellow is a bit dark. It's a uh, it's this one here. It's uh, oh no, that's just opaque. Um, Reeves Reeves acrylic fine artist quality deep yellow. That's what it is. Deep yellow. Maybe if I can mix it with a bit of this trans transparent. Um, what is that then? Don't know what colour that is. Uh, yellow, <laughs> yellow clear. I'll, I'll put some of that in there as well. Right now, my, I make my greens. You can use ready-made greens. Clean, clean, clean. <coughs> now blue, yellow, red. Got some paint in the ferrule. Use a bit of paint gray in there. Paint gray is a very short, a good shortcut to a dark for for a dark uh, background. Dark ground. Oh, what am I talking about? Just a way of making a green. Might, I might put a house in there. Blue, green, yellow, the blue, red, yellow. Just put a bit of a texture in around here. Uh, because this paper's got a bit of a, a tooth, there we are. we've got all sorts of colours in there, a bit more, a bit of dark in, more of dark in that. Right, a bit more yellow. Here, I'll have to clean all this out. Off my my plastic uh, palette. Just a, a butcher's tray or a display uh, tray. Just 
just going to use one brush here, I think. Mm. All right, I'm, I'm going to leave that open. I'm going to put a field in there now. So let's put that in there. Get a bigger brush. And we'll have more green. Oh, we'll have Payne's Grey. And put all this in. Get a nice, lovely bit of yellowy. Doing this because we had a friend turn up and I was chatting to him for about an hour. Actually, I should have done this earlier, I meant to do it earlier. I don't know what I put in there. Oh, I put in something. So I'm mixing the, the, the two yellows. waiting for that to go off a bit. Just mix that up horizon a bit. Alright, uh, let's see if we can get a uh, something in here. Uh, I'll fill that in, I think. Uh, the church is not quite so uh, good enough. Oh, there's my little, little brush.
it doesn't stand out really, does it? Um, right, that's a bit, bit of grey. Uh, So it might is in a way. Uh, not really tall enough, is it? Let's uh, take it up a bit higher. Uh, that's not uh, really uh, versical. Shadow colour on that. Uh, Now, a lot of these churches, you'll have a, a, a roof. Not good, is it? Uh... Sort that out in a minute. Uh, I've got a little brush here, let's uh, put that in the water, 
don't keep your brushes out of water when you're not using them. The paint's drying quite quickly now. Gonna put some turrets in there or some pinnacles, spinnacles, spinnacles. Right, uh, so we've got a nice sort of church there. It's taken more time to do that church, which ain't very good, but it's it's just an object in the landscape. Uh, right, I'm going to do some texturing in, in here. Now I'm going to use this brush, this worn out little brush here. And put some air, oh, I don't know, that's not right. Keep some of that dark colour. Get some some nice green now. Look. No, I don't think that uh, lighter yellow is very very good, but I just put texture in some of this. Across a meadow. A bit of sun. We 
we'll get some burn, some some uh, burnt sienna in some of this. Disguise some of that. A bit more of that, so, uh, you know. Uh, now we've got a sort of meadow. I'm thinking of, um, uh, of the memory of uh, Arlesford in Essex, but it just doesn't exist as few, I'm just remembering. Remembering of looking at fields, trees in the distance. Oh, that's it, that's all I'm going to do, I think. I'll uh, dismantle all this and uh, take that up there. Get a mouse. Well, that's not how going to fit, that's it really. That's what I would like, but uh, hmm. get stuck there. It's quite a good picture, but uh, oh well, there we go. That's that's a sort of gives you an idea. Don't put your motif in the middle. I'll put it to one side. Come across further. Well, there we are. I don't think that's too bad. I'll I'll, I'll photograph it in the large size, larger size. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'll get this uploaded later. Bye bye.